Linda. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. It is Thursday night, right? Do I have my dates right? It's all running together. Hello, The Closet Dive. Hi, Florentine Quack, Regina, Carmel. Is that an M or E? Carmela, Elizabeth. I don't need glasses. I just needed to get a little bit closer. <laughs> Hello, Delise. Hello, oh no, Fluffy. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, ladies. If you would go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to try to be on and off in about 30 minutes. That's my goal. Um, so let me just make sure I've got the live chat and not just the top chat so that I can see everything's, uh, everyone's comments. Hello, JL Baggins. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to start with what I'm going to call a few PSAs and then we're going to get to, um, the other stuff. So the first thing that I would ask um, is that you keep Suz and her family in your prayers, not going into any details or anything. Just um, send warm wishes and thoughts and strength her way. Uh, she and her family could use those right now. Um, the next thing is, is that, and I'm glad she's in the chat tonight, is the Enabler Award for today. And the person that has earned their spot in the enabler time out corner is none other than Lucinda Quimbley. Hi, Vader. So I'm going to tell you really quick why Lucinda gets the enabler award and has her nose to the enabler corner. So y'all know that I have... Um, been rather upset over my Timoro Brown large leisure shopper from Dooney. Um, well, it's this is two weeks now, two weeks today. <clears throat> I was of uh, two weeks today, two weeks ago today. Let me slow down. I was in Chicago and it was snowing, and I took my happy butt from the airport out to the outlet um one because i wanted to go to michael kors two because i wanted to go to coach three i was interested in looking in columbia four i was um, looking in love and of and fifth i wanted to stop in dooney um mainly to say hello to my ladies but also um you know just to make sure i wasn't missing out on anything and one of the things that I was looking at um, was the Slate Leisure Shopper to determine whether or not I needed it, whether the color was going to be good, just a bunch of different questions. And I was curious, <coughs> excuse me, to see how that bag shipped um, to the store, right? So I wanted to see how it came packaged so that I could manage my expectations around shipping well in the store under the fluorescent lights i will tell you i was not in love at all with slate I, I, not at all but if you are a collector of bags and you really have an eye for color you know that light can impact a shade, i.e. a fluorescent light can make a color look very different than if you're looking at it in natural light or if you're looking at it in soft light or dim light. Y'all know where I'm going with this. So I was not in love and I could have very easily um, gotten that bag, pestered everybody at the airport and brought it back but I just was not in love with the color. It just did not speak to me. It didn't read true gray. It didn't read true blue. It didn't read stick. It didn't, it, it, it was, it, it didn't read as a chameleon color. 
And if you call to any of the outlets and ask them to describe that color, some places describe it as a gray blue. Some places describe it as a blue gray. Some describe it as a light blue with gray tints. Others say that it's gray with some greenish blue tints. When everybody's describing the color, the background color of that bag differently, it, it didn't give me confidence in ordering it over, over you know, the phone or online. So I go into store and I'm still not wow. Until I watch Lucinda's video and all day long I have been looking at that bag and toying with it in and out of my cart. Um, so because I like literally in store had it in my hands and you know trying to get the right read on the color as I'm moving the bag around different parts of the store trying to figure out what color it is. Now I feel like I need to get that bag and that the $99 price point is the right price point to get it and so on and so forth. So Lucinda, you're going to the corner for that. I have not um, pulled the trigger on it. I'm not saying I'm pulling the trigger on it, but I am saying it has been added to my list and it's on my radar and it wasn't that way even two weeks ago when I was in store and could have avoided paying the shipping from the outlet and would not have had to endure the risk of it traveling part of the way by UPS, part of the way by horse and carriage, part of the way by the mail, <laughs> the mail post office. So I'm really torn right now on whether or not I'm going to get it because I tell you, <laughs> Bags have a long road to travel from wherever they get shipped from. So I need to come to grips with that before um, I pull the trigger. So here's the next thing. And this is a little bit of a PSA. So I'm going to transition, going to do a little bit. Um, let me turn my, because the tribe is texting. So let me turn that on. So... A little bit of a couple of PSAs. All right. So, if you watched Mrs. Q's live stream from Houston, she was live in Dillard's and she was sharing with us all of the goodies that they had in Dillard's and she panned, passed, and stopped for a few minutes at an Antonio Milani bag, the executive, the, the exec, large executive tote. And it was like a dead ringer for the H.B. Bowery satchel. So if you missed out on that and you're interested, um, this, may, um, this may satisfy that gap or need in your collection. So she went past it and then in the chat we were like, hey, can you go back and spend a little bit more time on that bag? So... I was extremely torn on purchasing that bag. It was originally $119 when Mrs. Q showed it in her live stream. A week later, it was already marked down to $83.30. And you may be wondering, well, DA, why were you struggling with that bag? You you have the HB. Mrs. Q said that that version was larger. The interior is light. It has a similar um, setup from an organization standpoint as the HB, but better. Um, and rivals, even though the setup is different, it has enough space to accommodate your usual pocket storage in your Dooney bags. Well, um, the number one reason, which is really the only reason, is... If you've been here for a while, you know how I feel about vegan leather. So after talking to DJ King and watching her video and begging her to film an update of what she carried with it and that kind of thing, I thought, you know what? If I'm looking for something larger, looking for something to add to my collection that could be in the Speedy family or that 
would uh, give me a little bit more variety in the main street satchel category um, of my duty bags, this may be the way for me to go. As I looked at the colors and the pictures online and watched her video a few more times and went back to Mrs. Q's live stream, I pulled out a couple of accessories that I thought would pair, especially with the pewter color. So if you recall, I shared with you one of my pinkish purchases that had a pink Eiffel Tower MK pouch. And there was another one that was in black that had a like the New York skyline with the helicopter. Well, both of those pouches have metallics uh, in the print on the outside. Um, not to mention, I have a couple of metallics from Dooney and Burke. And I have what I call some um, non-designer pieces, pouches, accessories that kind of have the silver gold metallic feel. I also have a couple of pieces from Coach. And I think I got a pouch as well from Kate Spade. So I've been thinking about making that purchase. And I will tell you that I pulled the trigger today on two vegan leather. Let me not even say that because y'all know how I feel about that. On two pleather bags because there's nothing leather about them. It's pleather, okay? If you were interested in that Antonio Milani bag, they took a markdown today at Dillard's that brought that price down from $83.30 to $59.50. $60 for pleather? That feels a little better to me um, than either the $119 or even the $83.30 personally for me for pleather. So $59.50. I also um, wanted to remind you that for $9.99, Dillard's will take an order over the phone or in store and ship it to you. So for those of you that may be watching from up north or out west where Dillard's is maybe not readily available to you, um, you can call in and uh, you know request the order number, uh, request the item number. I think I have the item number still in my phone. So let me give that to you. I'm going to give it, give it to you a couple of different ways because what I learned is that with seasonal help work in retail right now and some of that seasonal help being a little bit more mature, not everyone is able to use the computer to find the information some people prefer looking it up online. Some people don't even have access, or if they do, they're using the excuse of not being able to get into the system. So here's what I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna give you the SKU, which is on the barcode, so you can you know, try this number. It, the SKU, the SKU is seven, six, eight, five, four seven eight i'm gonna repeat it if someone would capture that in the um in the comments i'd appreciate it the sku number is seven six eight five four seven eight all right the next number is the way that it shows up on the receipt when you purchase it. Mine are being shipped, but I do have the number that shows up when you scan it on the receipt. That number is 4111271971972. I'm going to repeat it because it is super long. All right. So it is 4141127511972. And I think that is 
the last number, but I, it is in department 0275. Again, department 0275. But when you call to the store, just ask for ladies' handbags. And the brand is Antonio Milani. And the bag is called the Large Executive Tote. Colors available. Black, red, pewter, cognac. I picked up the pewter and the red. I wasn't 100% um, sold on the cognac color. But let me tell you where a couple of places have them in case you're looking to make a call. And I didn't call everywhere, just kind of in a close niche. Um, you can find it at Atlantic Station in Atlanta. So that's Dillard's at Atlantic Station in Atlanta. You can find the bag in stock at, now none of these stores had red. So you're only, um, if, if you're looking for red, you're gonna have to search, cast the net, search a little bit farther. Um, so red not available at these stores. So they had a combination of black, cognac, pewter, Pewter is also available online along with black, but they have not taken today's markdown online. So you would still be at the 8330 price point. Keep in mind, $9.99 to ship from the store. So Atlantic Station in Atlanta, Georgia has a few bags. Arbor Place in Douglasville, Georgia. These are all Dillard stores. Dillard's at Green Hills Mall in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, South Park Dillard's in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Carolina Place Shopping Center in Pineville, North Carolina. Or Pineville, as us locals say. Pineville, North Carolina. So Carolina Place in Pineville, North Carolina. South Park in Charlotte, Green Hills Mall in Nashville, Tennessee, Arbor Place in Douglasville, Georgia, and Atlantic Station in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're looking for red, you're going to have to search somewhere outside of those stores. Um, so red is gone, but black, cognac, pewter, readily available. Black and pewter still available online, but as of 3 o'clock-ish today, when I checked the Dillard site, it was still showing at the previous markdown, which is 83.30. If you call a store and they still have it for 83.30, ask them to scan it and they will tell you, they will see that it has taken a diff, a dish, an additional markdown to 59 50 plus whatever the sales tax is and then 9.99 for shipping for those of you that are a little squeamish about the 9.99 shipping it's still less than the 83.30 if you were really interested in that bag so i'm excited um to be able to you know film it with some accessories and get your thoughts on what that looks like and also to compare it to the mainstream so Dillard's 30-day return policy, $59.50. It was $83.30. All right. ILD has a sale going on. The price point is $99 and $119. It's an early gift sale. A um, couple of recommendations from me to you on what I think is worth taking a look at. I didn't say pull the trigger, but if you're interested in the bag, if they have the color that you're looking for, if you're willing to make the gamble on the shipping status stuff that you've heard plenty about um, in this community, then these are the things that I would um, put on your radar because they are on mine. The first is for $99, the Kimberly in Safiano. I love my Kimberly. I have a Safiano. I have it in Pebbled. I love it. $99 is a good price point. 
$99 is what a few of us paid this time last year at the tent sale and in the outlet for that bag. I um, personally spent $99 for my, at least one of mine uh, in Pebble. So $99, good price point, Safiano leather, indestructible. Other early give $99 recommendations, the Leisure Shopper, because Lucinda Quimbley has started this flurry of review activity for me around that bag again. Um, the Maxi Quilt East West Collins at $99. I just like that bag. It holds a lot. It's not a huge bag. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a full small bag, but it's not exactly a medium bag. But I wouldn't classify it as a medium either. It's kind of just an odd size and depending on how well you pack a bag, it will carry a lot. I did use my East West Collins for a while as an everyday carry. Not through the airport and doing what I do today, but at one point in my handbag life, East West Collins was an everyday carry for me. The next thing that is completely on my radar, oh, is the Pebble Grain Page Sack in the color grass. I don't need any more grass because I'm holding out for Kelly Green. You know that during the summer fun sale or one of these recent sales, I bought the Piper in grass. But the Page sack, I have a few of those in my collection and the grass one is gorgeous in my opinion in that color. A uh, couple of other things, um, the large pocket sack. You can blame says what that that one made the list because that one is on my radar. I have it in red, she has it in Kelly Green, um, nylon, nylon. This one though, um, is in the thicker, uh, stiffer nylon. So if you're looking for what I call the OG nylon, the slick, shiny one, this is not it. This is the thicker one that has a little bit of texture to it. What I will say is before you spend the $99, if this is a purchase you're planning to make, call the outlets because the outlets have a few of these bags in different colors that are actually on clearance. I'm talking about 60, 70, 80 dollars. So before you pull the trigger, if that bag is something that you're looking for and maybe you're flexible on the color, you know, while you're sitting in traffic tomorrow evening, <clears throat> call a couple of outlets and see what they have on clearance. If you are in, I think it's the Looney for Dooney Facebook group, and there's another one. Oh, I can't think of it. You, some of you may be able to remember, but there have been a couple of members that have posted recent visits to outlet stores, and like one of them was at Vero Beach. Feels like the other one was in. Orlando or maybe Destin <clears throat> yeah Dooney Devotion that's it thank you closet dive um there's some pictures there that will actually show you the clearance section of what they have and in several of those pictures at a couple of different stores this bag is on the clearance table and when I was in Chicago two weeks ago they had a dark mauve one that I think was marked down to 79.80 I think it was $79.80. I was really torn about that color, but it was at a good price. So $99, not a bad price, but before you spend $99, check with the outlets and see if the difference balances out, right? So if you find one that's like $67 or so dollars or $70 so dollars, even if you have to pay shipping, you're still coming out better than the $99. All right, um, next is the Pebbled Ashton is on ILV for $119. I know, when did this bag ever sell for regular price, right? It went from like full price Florentine on pre-order on Dooney.com to 
available in Pebble on ILD and at least the small size in Florentine already showing up at the outlets. So it was 40% off and I only saw the color natural in Florentine when I was at um, the outlets in Chicago. But again, 119, not a bad price for the Pebble, but if you're looking for Florentine, call the outlet and ask them because they were starting to trickle in there. All right, moving from ILD, we're gonna go over to Dooney.com and I don't have any recommendations for you over there except Dooney has added some language under its sale, sale items um, that state that the price or the special, referring to the price, the special is only on select colors. So Bravo, they heard us getting irritated about the picture being one thing, right? and the sale price, and then you get in, and it's the bait and switch. Now, of course, they haven't updated the thumbnail, so you're not going to see um, the colors that are on sale as the thumbnail, but at least they have taken the effort this time. And I know I'm giving them too much credit because they're going to screw something else up here soon. I'm sure of it, but I'm going to give credit where credit is due, and when it's due, that they have at least taking the effort to make sure that we see in red writing underneath some of the items that are on their current holiday promotion to say to state that the special is only on select colors. Now, when you're looking at the colors, don't get excited. It's the same colors we've been looking at all summer. It is your coral, your salmon, your sky blue, your pale blue, your glacier blue. They doing too damn much with these blues. And I know some of y'all love them, but I'm ready for them to move on past those colors and give us some discounts on some of the other colors. Um, the last thing that I will say to you, um, and this applies both ILD and Dooney, but especially if um, you are trying to manage your budget with purchases and you don't mind having Dooney pay. That's a whole other thing because there have been sipping cuss and um a fuss and cusses and all kinds of stuff on how Dooney has handled the Dooney pay. There are selections, sale selections that are currently available on both sites, both ILD and Dooney. Some of those selections are within $10 of each other. So $10 more, $10 cheaper on one or the other side. If, if it's something that you really want and $10 is $10 more, difference more, is not going to break the bank, you may want to take a look at making that purchase on Dooney.com and take advantage of the Dooney pay if budget is top of mind for you, but you want to pull the trigger on a couple of purchases. I will give you an example, and then we're going to get into why I'm here tonight. So, there is a perfect pair in this, just as an example. And there is also the Maxi Quilt East West Collins that I just mentioned on sale on both sites, $10 difference between the sites, or roughly $10. But if you make that purchase off of ILD, every bit of that money is due when you pull the trigger on it. You do have Ebates or Rakuten or whatever your rebate program is that you use. Please make sure you're using one. Um, you've got that option, right? Nothing to do, nothing to follow up. Don't have to think about it again. It's paid for, it's done, it's over. If, from a budget standpoint, you are looking at pulling the trigger on a couple and you're trying to, like what you would spend on one bag on ILD is what you are committing for the next three months in Dooney pay, then 
maybe you go with Junie.com to make that purchase. You have to sit down, do the math. I just wanted to put that on your radar screen. All right, there are 31 of you that are sitting on Thursday night hanging out with me, probably watching a little bit of TV, probably watching a little bit of football, or maybe there's somebody in your house that's yelling for one of the teams that's playing. I'd ask that you just go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let me tell you what I've been doing since we were last together on Sunday. So I am still working on my accessories because I have some accessories that are in bags and in nooks and corners and I just still don't have everything out to finalize what the organization should look like. But in order to kind of get to this wave of accessories, I needed to get into Maduni vault and there's like no floor space in there right now. So I needed to move some things around in order to be able to get in there. Well, the reason, an additional reason why I needed to get in there is I was kind of going through my coach order history and auditing what I purchased, making sure I knew where everything is, making sure that everything that I'd ordered had actually been delivered, that kind of thing. And I realized that I was missing a package and I'd completely forgotten about it. And I don't know whether there's one item in this package or two, but as I was trying to clear floor space in the vault, I actually found it. So we are going to surprise it was buried in the vault and I'm gonna figure out what's in here. I got on black pants, dark top. This is about to be a hot, furry mess if y'all remember the last time I opened one of these pouches, but there's no way around it. So, um, I don't, I am not crazy about this packaging. So, This is not good. This is not good, and I'm blaming DJ King. So, all right, y'all. So, a couple of you in prior videos, not necessarily this video, but in the comments, I've been asked a couple of times if I purchased the same thing, like duplicates, like if I remember what's in my collection and avoid duplicates. Well, my previous answer was yes, but as I have purchased more, um, my answer to that question has changed. And the reason I said that in opening that package, this was not good is because this is currently in my purse. I'm using it right now. So at some point, I picked up two, like one in store and one online of the size 22 cosmetic case from Coach. Closet Dive, it is not funny. Florentine Quack, this is not funny. <laughs> Getting old is not easy because my memory has failed me. Let me see how long this, this has been buried in the closet. Oh my God, this is fur. This purchase was made. Hmm. <clears throat> um, <laughs> May the twenty third.
Y'all not going to be able to see it, but they say confession is good for the soul, so I'm going to confess. All right, let me see. I'm trying to keep my address off the line. See right there, 05 2019 That don't have my credit card number up there, does it? Okay, no. It doesn't. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. So I have two. Um, yeah. So the second item that I was hoping to be in here. Yes, DJ King. Yes, it was. Are you still looking for this? Did I pick this up for you? Because it's here at my house. Um, the, the, the thing that I was looking for was I'm missing a, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's a double corner zip wallet in the color. I'm going to call it natural because I'm forgetting what the tag should have said on it. Natural. Mm. Help me out, DJ King. What's the color I'm looking for? Luggage? No, that's saddle. Thank you, JL. Thank you. I'm looking for saddle. So what I thought was that I was going to find, so there, there's got to be another missing package in here because I can't find saddle. Because this was in here and the second item, which was one of the items I'm looking for, but they weren't, they aren't together. So I got another missing package here somewhere. I don't know where it is, which is why I got to get organized and stop buying stuff and get my collection together. But I have gone absolutely crazy over the size 22 cosmetic case from, from uh, Coach. I'm sorry, Coach. I did not mean to say the D word. Um, it is amazing in size. So, I thought about my HB bag that we recently tried to find accessories for. That I now have a perfect cosmetic case to go with it. And I just thought about that and didn't bring the bag in here to show you. But look at this look at this look at the colors is that not perfect i think that's gonna pair perfectly with it i think it's also gonna look great with cranberry with plum wine let's see let's see i have plum wine here let's see what it's gonna look like so my plum wine leisure and oh looky looky sucky sucky I love it <laughs> what do y'all think this color is called half tone floral cosmetic it's been may so who knows where it is but coach may be clearing out the um warehouse so let me give you the item number it is f is in frank three nine zero five eight again f is in frank three nine zero five eight and the color code is I is in indigo, M is in Mary, zero, the number two, D is in David. So that's the item. F is in Frank, three, nine, zero, five, eight, I, indigo, M, Mary, zero, the number two, the letter D as in David. I think I've just talked myself into switching bags. I love this size. Let me show you a couple of comparisons. 
Where is my saddle? I don't know where that is. I'm going to have to go audit again because it thought I ordered it with this. Don't even remember seeing this in my order history because it's in my purse all right couple of things this size 22 i'm going to show you what the size comparison is like to the coach pencil case you've seen this before just so that you have some idea of I mean, if you are just like a lip gloss and a hand sanitizer, you may be able to use a pencil case as a cosmetic case if you don't use a whole lot. But just from a size comparison, boom, here we go. There's the bottom. And there's the size difference. Okay? All right. Some other things that you may have that may help you decide whether or not when you see the size 22, if you want to pick it up, I'm going to show you a couple other comparisons from a couple different brands. All right, so Dooney and Burke. This is just a little regular cosmetic case. I do use this one a lot. that lined up so it's about half the size if you're looking for a comparison all right next one from a comparison standpoint is also from Dooney and I wish they would bring this size back because Dooney used to carry a large cosmetic case and that's this one and just so that you can kind of see how this size compares to the one that is a little bit more readily available like this is the size that the bloom is available in now this is the large cosmetic case there is no comparison this looks like a tater tot and this is like the whole potato here just from a size comparison standpoint but so that you can see how the size 22 which may be a little bit easier to find particularly going through the holiday season how it compares to what Dooney's large version was or is and I'm gonna get the bottoms lined up they're uh, they're in essence the same okay so this is the large version, not easily found. I have had this one forever. Um, if you're looking for this, secondary market's gonna be the way to go. The next comparison is a Kate Spade one. So you may have seen this on a couple of channels this summer, thanks to um, my tribe sister, Carmen Hawkins. So here is the comparison to, and this one is, hold on, this one is called the Medium Domed Cosmetic, and this is from Kate Spade, and the print is called the Dawn, D-A-W-N, Breezy Floral, B-R-E-E-Z-Y Floral, F-L-O-R-A-L, Dawn Breezy Floral floral it's the medium domed domed cosmetic so uh oh let me get it lined back up there okay you can see the length and the depth there um from a height standpoint um they're about the same in height the coach one may be a smidgen taller, but it could be the fact that it's been sitting in a package since May in the bottom of my closet. And then the last one, because I know several of us picked this one up. This one is from Tori Birch, and it is their 
Carrington, Carrington with a K cosmetic case. And here we go in length, uh oh, hold on. In length comparison, here's the side profile. The Carrington with a K is a bit taller than the Coach Cosmetic. And so that you can compare the butts and the depth, or the length and the depth. Let me get that lined up there. So there's that. And let's just see how much deeper. Quite a bit. Okay. Still missing a package. But I wanted to dig this out. I don't. Mm. I love this. Now I have twin <laughs> cosmetic cases. Who going old, getting old is not easy. So here's what I like to do in the last couple of minutes, since I'm well over the time that I anticipated being on, um, is I have a couple of year-end video ideas, right? The, the same ones we do the best of, um, what I carried most, least favorite purchase, um, best bags of the year, that whole thing. But I'm curious to hear whether either in the live stream or if you're watching this on replay, if you would drop a comment and let me know if there are any other video ideas you'd like to see. I do know that collection, it's not going to happen. It's a hot mess. And I'm just not interested in sharing my collection. Um, I do know that I've had a couple folks, as I've talked about Floto, to ask for the video comparison between the Floto duffel and the Florentine duffel from Dooney. I think I'm going to be able to pull that one off this year. I know it's been probably a couple years now in the making. But is there anything else from either a conversation or a video standpoint that you would like to see? If so, Leave that in the comments or throw the idea in the chat. Um, I'm going to challenge my tribe sisters to participate in the bags as a tag. So that is coming. Um, so it, it will be fun. I've got, I think I work, what did I say, six days this month or six days left. For this month to work and I think I'm working a total of seven days or maybe nine days I'm, my count may be off in the month of December so I'm gonna travel and lounge and hopefully get a little a little bit better organized a little closer I'm nowhere close to being finished but I do want to you know as we're off I want to have some content that's ready to upload and some ideas for live streams and what you'd like to see. Um, so I did see a comparison of travel bags. Got it. Um, I've got a couple that I think would, that I would recommend as travel bags for a couple of different reasons. So that is doable. So it's Thursday night. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. Tomorrow night is Friday and we will be hanging out at 830 Central, uh, 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 scratch, <laughs> rewind, 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central on Mrs. Q's channel for For Real Friday. If you have not gone over to check out the enabler of the day, Lucinda Quimbley, please go check out her content. I believe I saw a new video from Honey is Natural. Um, Mrs. Q did, um, a spontaneous live last night. Um, so go check out her live from last night. We had a good time over on her channel. 
Um, the Closet Dive, um, we're looking for new content from you, my dear. When are you going to grace us with a new motion picture feature? Yes, I said it. Motion picture feature. We're waiting. We're waiting. Um, there, who else? Let me go and look at my, I don't know that I've watched a lot of videos because work has been eating me alive. Let me see. So, Lucinda, I have been watching Mrs. Q's Q-Mail Second Hand Haul. Um, Collector Gloria, I watched a shop with me, um, with her at Coach. Let me tell you, his forever held and treasured. She did her um, 2019 coach collection. It is also a must see. Um, Mrs. Q and her first HSN unboxing. Uh, DJ King and Meet the Metallics, if you have not watched that video. And then my tribe sister as well, Carmen Hawkins, the What Fits in My Coach Cassie. So those are just a few recommendations that I would give to you if you are looking for content to fill the rest of your Thursday evening. I will be back on Sunday. If you recall, we are going to dive into the world of Alto and what fresh Alto looks like versus the wear test and how it actually wears. So please make sure that you come back for that. If you are here and you are still here and it's we've been on for 52 minutes, please hit the um, thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy this kind of impromptu when I can do it, when I can be available. So before the 29 of you head out, if you have not hit the thumbs up, that I would kindly ask that you do so. Um, support the ladies in the uh, tribe, in, you know, in the handbag community. Watch some new videos. Make sure you give a thumbs up. That just helps the YouTube algorithm recommend our videos to other people. It doesn't cost you anything. You're already sitting here holding your phone or your device. Just go ahead and hit that for us. It's a nice way to say thank you for the entertainment. And I will um, end with um, my beginning. And that is, please keep my tribe sister says what and her family in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you so very much for watching, everyone. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.